Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I am the RNG Genius, but you may call me Eric and in the last episode we switched to normal mode to be able to try it out to see if it's really me who's this bad at the game or if it's really the, bad, the game's teeth that are always gnashing into my flesh and getting me, uh, well, dwindled down. I do not want to win on hard uh, on, on normal mode. I want to win on on hard mode, but the only way I can see that right now is taking away the game's games' Once teeth. And to do that, I am required to uh, not a recommended encounter in equipment deck. Um, we're gonna play on hard mode. Um, as for equipment, Thunderstrike, haven't even seen that yet. Haven't seen these either. Innocence, Empress, Jewel. Who knows what that does? Um, we gained new armor in the last episode. We gained Mithril and we gained Wilderness armor. So I'm going to get rid of heavy armor because Mithril is most likely heavy. And Chains of Rage I really dislike. So we're going to take both of those in. Anything else that's new? Assassin's Greed. I'm going to get rid of... The Plunderer's Cap because we see that every time and I never pick it up. Assassin's Creed Inferno Potion. Who knows what that does? I'm not that curious, though. Berserker Ring. Disciples Ring is necessary for that one quest that I can't take out either. Guildmaster's Ring is not that good. Well, these rings are all... Well, Ring of Survival is probably the worst. Ring of Enlightenment, Traitor's Ring, and Berserker Ring. Well... We'll do it like this, but the real thing is I can't go with these. I can't go with these encounters. We have new encounters. We fought a golem and now golem hunting parties are out for us. Trial by combat. It's probably too hard. Demon trader can't do that. Blood auction is too harsh. Desert of the damned with the serpent thingy. No. Holy forge is a is a dead step, but not if I get the metallic ore. Summer Solstice is a death with the encounter that it gives me. Lizard Dome is a really tough fight. Maze of Traps is just instant death. Crucible is a really tough fight. Wife's Fury is not happening. Battle of Brooktop is not happening. Devil Choice, I'll keep that in there. Green Barrow Forest is usually good. Tracks in town are, well, not gonna happen. The Lovers are pretty good. Trading post is awful. Ambertown Hero Goblins, I don't know why those are still in there. Heroes Remains, I'll keep. The Maiden Twisted Canyon. Okay, I want to maximize my chances of getting max health. Uh, Lionel's gonna go in. Foodwang is gonna go in. The Goblins are gonna go out. Merchant's Favor was just carrying around the 100 gold, but also getting that curse, so that's not, uh, that's not viable. Marketplace was putting money on the line for a random amount of food. Eh. Alone is also a curse. Helpful priest is a blessing. Hmm. For one food. Yeah, sure. Lonely Bard was max health. The Apprentice was a teleport. If you have the necessary gold. And a teleport is exactly what I need. Tavern wager is probably horrible. I can I can put in a normal shop, boy. Noble trader, give away my weapon for a rat cleaver and money. Hmm. Lost in the desert, not that good. Giant eagle carries me around. Field of poppies tele teleports me around. I don't know what the devil's carnival can also do. Desert Cold, Dead Man's Gorge is a good encounter. Ambush, Winding Trail, Wise Fury, all these are encounters. So we're still missing five. And we'll put in the trial by combat, although that's probably going to be my death. The Demon Trader is just a dead step. Maze of tra Traps can also just be a dead step. Old Graveyard is good if I'm blessed. And I usually am blessed in this encounter. Or in this version of the 
Well, with the hanged men. Devil's Carnival. I guess I'll... I have the Field of Poppies in there. I guess I'll take another surprise portal in the shop. That should be as tame as I can get this, this deck. Let's see if that works out. We got to the last floor on normal mode and just and I just threw the run away because I was kind of I was kind of mad at normal mode being that easy. In normal mode you don't start out with getting a curse by the way. You gain out with you start out with getting fortitude's breath which is a better option than this damn curse that takes away 10 health immediately. So yeah. Surprise portal, look at that. about the consequences of magical forces Without warning, a magical portal opens beneath you and you fall through it. As you tumble between realities and you catch glimpses of faraway lands and realms without meaning to your mortal mind. After an unknown period of time, you fall ungracefully back into your original universe. Every card drawn from your thoughts and your memories. Every Traveling jeweler. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Jewelers specialize in selling artifacts and rings, such as an inclusive, exclusive market demands high prices. Approach. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. I wish you could skip the, the narrator's texts, but you can't. Opon. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Buy items. Arrow cutter, guild master's ring, ring of justice, and time heals. During combat, press right bumper to twist time and return to your health. Return your health to its starting value. Oh. Yeah. I wonder why I thought about that. I want to sell something. Do I have anything to sell? Not really. I'm gonna pick up one food then. I'm sure you are grateful for that. That sounds dope, the time healing thingy. It sounds really, really good. It would would have been hanged man and that would have been a holy forge. Well, that's okay. I didn't miss out on anything then. Sea voyage. Sail away. Your journey will take you across the sea. You have discovered the exit to this area. Once you're out the, out to sea, you discover some monstrous stowaways. Dealer draws you two monster cards. Okay, jack of dust and three of dust. Let's hope I won't have to use the the ability I just invested into. Dodge away from the Jack's attacks. Parry that projectile. No! Oh, I dodged, man. A dodge should give you iframes, but it doesn't. Okay, that was bull. It was bull. Have that back. Did you just throw that, Mr. Jack? Okay. I think I want those 35 health back. I think I want 35 health back. Otherwise, next time I won't have 35 health to lose.
Nope, you're not gonna do that. Sorry, sons. That's a really good magical artifact. That's a really good artifact. Where's my gold? Didn't I have gold? I had three gold going into this encounter. Hmm. You are now free to continue your journey. Draw one game card, one equipment. Ring of Justice, thank you. I am not I, the first to deal the card. I swear, I had gold. What curses do I have? I Corrupted soul, weak wrists. I had gold going in there. During combat, press right bumper to twist time and return your health to its starting value. It does not take away gold. Where'd I lose that? Please enlighten me. You know what's up. What? Where'd I, where'd I lose that gold? Because I have no clue. I had three gold going in there. Now I have zero. Maybe the sea voyage itself takes it away? Hmm. Charity 3. The losers or scorn them. You encounter a priest wandering along the road. He begs for food to feed the orphans. The gods show favor to those who help the less fortunate. A worthy decision, the priest exclaims. How many young ones will see another summer due to your generosity? Give one food. The priest looks at your humble offering for a moment, then sighs. Every morsel is treasured, of course, but the children will need more sustenance to make it through the winter. Let me see if I have anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. Nope. No luck, I'm afraid, but take my blessing. That's what I was after anyways. Wrath of the old gods. I didn't look at what that does. Wrath of the old gods. At the beginning of every battle, the old gods throw down thunder upon one of your enemies. Pretty cool. That is pretty cool. The Hanged Man! Well, been a while, buddy. One day, while traveling through a forest, you come across a man hanging by his ankle. You inquire about his, his current predicament, but he explains that he does not want any help. I've accepted a destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. One blessing card, one curse card. Arcane knowledge sucks. Look upon you favorably. A surprise attack. Can suck, can also be good, I think. Of course I lose max health. You leave the clearly deranged man to his fate, since that is what he wants. Traveling Tinker. That's gonna be great. I'm not even gonna go there. I don't wanna know what I'm missing out on. Food Wagon. You come across a broken down wagon laden with food. Its owner nowhere in sight. Call out and offer help. Oh god, thank you, you're here! A merchant leaps out of the bushes. Some bandits attacked my cart and I hid in the trees. Please accept this food as thanks. You gain some food. Dealer draws you one food card. Food card. One food gain card. Okay, five food, thank you. Heroes remains. I can't do that. I can't do that. Make an excuse. Ah, of course, being an adventurer means you must wash your hair regularly, all those blood and guts. <laughs> oh. Cave escape. Caves and caverns. A dank and foreboding cave lies between you and your goal. You have discovered the exit to this area. Enter the cave. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. We can hope that, as each card is unveiled, as each new concept is explored, that we learn something about ourselves, or something about you, at least. I have arcane knowledge, and I have the wrath of the gods. Do I have anything else? Anything I really like, I wonder. Well, I'll find out in a second. This token will unlock more In your dreams one night, you're summoned to a fiery pit and greeted by a familiar demon. Greetings, mortal. I'm again in need of spiritual fulfillment. Trade you another magical item for it. Pay two blessings for a magical item. The demon eyes you hungrily. It opens its fiery maw and you feel some part of your soul dragged into that hellish abyss. This card's token is now yours. Rather the old gods, arcane knowledge. Okay. 
Tasty, the demon exclaims. Your new magical item will be sent along to the mortal realm soon. In the meantime, take this old thing. A cold ring. That's nice on this map. That's really, really good. Thank you. Metal ore. That's not... Well, that, well that's a dead... Uh, dead car, but that's okay. Local peasant. I don't care about you, lady. I have no food. Goodbye then, stranger, the woman says, waiting for you to move on. Another hanged man. Hmm. One day while traveling through a forest, you come across a man hanging by his ankle. You inquire about his current predicament, but he explains that he does not want any help. I've accepted the destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. Guardian Angel is awesome. Dealer's Revenge is, f well, not that bad, but I hate the minus 10 max health. You leave the clearly deranged man to his fate, since that is what he wants. I have zero gold, I really want money. Because if I don't have money, I'm not going to be able to, to buy more. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it hurts. That hurts. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Priests have some skill in tending wounds, but they excel at removing curses for a price. Greetings, wise traveler. Oh, you look like you can use some food. Eh, 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 eh. Dick. A cold ring is real nice. Ring of hindsight. Killing streak. I can get rid of that. Ring of Justice, I can get rid of that. Can get rid of that. Give me food. Ten food, maybe? No, oh, of course not. Of course not. Well, that was a kick in the butt. That's okay. My mistake for not taking that one step there. I really thought that was not, like, the, the chance was not particularly high for that. I was wrong. Sea voyage. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and a rush of wind. Is there... Your journey will take you across the sea. You've discovered the exit to this area. Board the ship. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. It takes a very special person to walk through this door. Great. Need to have lived a life that provides Warlord 2, I don't have any disciples ring. Another dead step. To have enough will to walk through the door. Enough the maiden. Uh, what's worth more, max health or food? I don't know. Max health or food? Well, I'm only gonna win with luck, and luck is the thing that lets me take that one step there and has a, a staircase be right there, so that's what luck is. I'm gonna take the, the max health. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm, but not you. You don't get any blessing. What boon would you ask of me? Not the blessing, though. Ask for longer life. As you wish. Merith mutters and waves her hand. A light shines from your skin. <clears throat> the dealer draws you one max health gain card. Five max health as always. The greatest of magical artifacts. Ba 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 power spent. You could, you know, win the game with those. Nice. Greenboro Forest, Devil's Choice, and Traveling Healer. Devil's Choice could have given me max health as well. Forest Escape. Roaming. Your path forwards will take you into the forest. You've discovered the exit to this area. Take the forest path. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. The king waits. Powerful. Silent. Death in steel plate. Yeah, but where? Can you, uh, uh, you know, elaborate on that, please? Because I don't know where he waits. He might wait on the left side. He might wait on the right side. He might wait down here. It sucks, I only have one food and I cannot waste those steps. Oh, Ember Town Hero, not good. 
You come across an injured adventurer whose battered and bloodied armor tells you he's seen combat recently. Ask him his troubles. As you approach, his eyes are drawn to your artifact. I've always wanted that, he yells as he lunges forward. Fight him off. Ah, uh, right. Four times, huh? Grand. Oh, I have that. Cool. I completely forgot about having that. You fight him off and he runs away. Great. Pitiful. The Hanged Man. One day while traveling through a forest, you come across a man hanging by his ankle. You inquire about his current predicament, but he explains that he does not want any help. I've accepted the destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. Holy touch, undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. Twice the fail, that's not really a loss. Uh, field of poppies. Into all sorts of vices, do we not? All in the hope that we will forget. You wander among the field of poppies. Too late, you realize that the poppies are making you sleepy. And now what? Ah, uh, there's... Oh my god, the gob golem hunting party will murder my face. There's the lonely bard, but I don't have any money. Great. How am I gonna get out of this situation alive? Not. I don't have any food. There's no one encounter that can give me food. I don't think the golem hunting party will end at food. And the, the, the shops are not exactly helpful. Because I don't have money. You wake up groggy and disoriented. The lonely bard. This is what comes from interfering. One day on your travels you meet a familiar face, the young man whom you helped is escape town with his beloved. He's sitting on a tree singing to himself. As you approach you realize that he stinks of ale and his singing is a little too merry. He looks up as you approach. Yo, haven't you caused enough sorrow? He stops to take another sip from a bottle. Thanks to you we escaped the town. He goes on to explain that, once they were free of her father's pursuit, his beloved ditched him. For the first mercenary we met, if only we'd never left. He continues angrily, now I must beg for coin to pay for my drink, then go for a song, or have you no pity for fools? Leave him to his misery, if the bard lies down to sleep as you continue your journey. That's a boring death. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Jewelers specialize in selling artifacts and rings. Such an inclusive market demands high prices. To approach the shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. A chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. Ring of Enlightenment. What does it do? If the player sells this ring, they receive plus 50 gold for each blessing they possess. And all blessings are lost. No, 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 wait. How many blessings do I have? One. Two. Hmm. Hmm. Even if I sold everything, that's 7, that's 17, that is 26. Yeah, wow. And that is 33 in total, and that is 33. But I need a shield, and I really need my occult ring, so it's unfortunate. But that would have been cool. The Ring of Enlightenment would have been pretty cool in this situation, but that's not happening. So the only thing worth selling is uh, time heals is the only... Oh man, but I am down to 15 health, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Okay, give me that. That's a good deal. I thought you were a mage. I have the occult ring. Well, you'll see. There's two more hanged men here, so... Oh, where's the Skeleton King gonna be? Let's take the top route.
Bang man, look at you. Don't even give me that. Self-righteous on any hit the player inflicts. Two more damage for each blessing they possess. Negative aura. Whenever the player loses a curse, they also lose one random item. Well, I'm not going to lose any more curses, so... Amber Town Hero, God. Wasn't there a huge success thing? What? Ah, I sold my blessing, that's right. Oh, I'm gonna die. Your situation is starting to look hopeless. Well, no, it's not starting to look hopeless. It's looked hopeless when I reached that not floor yet. and saw that there were four ways to go. Oh, that was really close though. For satisfying the Demon Trader, you receive Ring of Gluttony and Demon Trader 4. Is he never going to stop? Well, that's good. Okay, this is the only way I see me be I see myself beating this this challenge though, because I have to take out the encounters and hope that I don't have to fight a drag, a queen, or god forbid a king. That's the only way I'm gonna get to King the, the King of Skulls in this situation. With so little health, too. Gosh. No. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this is kind of a very cheap way of going about this, but there is not really any other choice. The game pro, like, the game puts me in front of a really tough challenge that I can't beat, so I have to pretty much cheese my way through. Which is okay, in my opinion. I'm going. There's going to be more successful combat in the future, but definitely not on the damn minus 10 max health for every curse you gain. For the moment, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!